Hey, how's it going, everybody? So we are today looking at Odin with 20 emblems. Um, it looks like they've gone a fairly balanced but slightly more defensive route. Um, his stats are very much like Frigg, and she can get up to like high, uh, but I guess the class is different, so the amount of available nodes changes. So I'm not really sure what all of his build options yet are in terms of emblems, but he is at the max. He is a flank to a, a very good tank and a very good team overall. This is a crazy team. So the idea with him is, especially on defense, it makes you think about the number of yellow tiles on the board, because if he is going to fire after Frigg, um, his normal, you know, 400-ish AoE damage is probably going to be more like 600 with the defense down. So with this team, there's a red tank, which is making me want to stack blue. But I have to be careful of how many greens and yellows are on the board, which makes things a little dicey. And then if he goes off with, you know, at least a few yellows on the board, he's boosting the mana of the rest of the team. Which I think is a really good fit for the ninjas because they can charge up so much relative to other heroes so that boost can actually translate to a lot of power. Um, and then here we just have you know, two of the best wings in the game and so they're just going to be firing that much faster. So this is going to go really quick. I think I'm going to stick with the team that I have. Um, because it's really important to try to take this tank out as quickly as possible. Or I'm going to lose my foothold. But this is very dangerous. Very fast. And he speeds it up even more. He's already at fast speed. And you can see that with only seven nature tiles on the board. Or excuse me, seven holy tiles on the board. Um, that's a 29% boost. And it's not crazy, especially if you're not using yellow, to have that many on there. So he's really good on defense. Um, which way do they go? Max defense there. So pretty high HP. Pretty decent defense. Let's say under 900, which he's just barely under. is on the weaker side for a tank. But it can work. They've gone a pretty balanced route with her. Um, okay. Let's see what happens. So, okay. That is really bad for me. For many reasons. One, I don't have the colors I need. Two, that's a lot of yellows. Three, that's a lot of tiles I have to burn to try to get ones that are useful to me. Which means charging up garnet. So, um... Well, I don't want to, you know, overhear the overheal the whole team, I do think that Garnet is the least dangerous in terms of me trying to form this board. So that's so cool. He's got the wolf between his legs. That looks really awesome. Um, okay, so let's see if we're going to have any chance here or not. It's looking like this is one thing about this team is it's looking really bad already. She's already out of times one charge in one move. Uh, so we got a... Yeah, I lost the red match, but that red match is not going to be enough on its own. We got to get some get some stuff happening here. We're going to be done. All right. You can see how fast it is. This freak is already ready to give defense down to my entire team. Now, they're blocked from ailments. Some of them have more health than they came in with. In fact, everyone has more health than they came in with. And that's max. So that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 greens on the board. So I have 44 defense down. So just for fun, since I'm definitely not going to win this, let's see what kind of damage Odin does to follow up. It's probably going to be about 7 to 8. That's really weird. Why is it so low? At 40... Because he hits... I guess there were fewer yellows on the board, but I saw this in someone else's raid where I waited for him to go off and he did like 300 damage, and I was like, why is this lower? 
She's 1,071, he's 1,063, so negligible difference. His max damage is 244%. Her max damage is 244%. Um, I guess maybe there weren't enough yellows on the board, but that's just surprising. So, regardless, they've all got, let's see, we can figure out from the mono generation. So there were f only five yellows on the board. Um, because it takes 7 to get 29%, and it goes 3% at a time, right? Yep. So there were 5 on the board, which means he did 190% damage. Uh, so not max damage at all. Um, but I'm surprised that with minus 44% defense, it wasn't stronger. Still, my team is leveled. You know, it wasn't... <laughs> It wasn't like I now have a chance or something like that. But it didn't catch me by surprise. Look at these guys sitting pretty on the wings with two fighters. So that was weird that it didn't show up as two individual hits. It showed up as one. It added it together. Um... So yeah, Odin, ugh. It's like if you don't have that board right away, oh, you're in trouble. So let's try to, we do have something to work with this time. So let's get our fire damage going. Excuse me. I have no real follow-up though. Which is really, really unfortunate. I'm not even going to bother hitting, <coughs> excuse me. Hitting forward until I can get something substantial going here. Alright, so we're one match away from our Saving Grace Black Knight, which means if I do this, the Dragon Bomb. Alright, at least there won't be defense down, so we can see if he hits on his own. No cascade. So, yep, enough. That is enough. Already, so we've got three turns of protection. If this guy can survive, it's a big if. It's a gamble. What happens with him? But let's see if we can get a few. Go off here. Okay. Let's see what we get, though. Yeah. Why is that? The damage is doubled. I feel like they changed that recently. I'll need to use them on offense to see, but um, I think they started adding the hits together, even though the way the damage is calculated is as two separate hits. Because it used to be when you'd use him, you would see the two hits go off on one hero. And it was kind of weird because the damage was drastically different sometimes. Like you'd get 700 and 468 or something like that. So I wonder if they changed that to... Uh, keep people from being frustrated who knows all right so I should kill the this attack up fuck 20 hp so well we just gotta hope that a red is the next tile to come in how many more turns of taunt do we have two more turns so uh, would be a good idea to set off Finley, he's gonna go off next turn anyway. Let's see if we can kill Garnet. Okay, red. All right, Finley's for sure going off with that mana boost this turn, and Black Knight is now dead, and this bitch is healed enough. Oh boy, and she kills off again. Oh, I hate her. If we can set off these two one more time. No, we're not going to survive long enough to see them, but I think that gives you enough of an idea. It sees damage with defense down and without, especially how it can be lower, you know, before people start screaming about nerfs. You can see that even on defense with that 20% bonus and 44% defense down, which is huge, he still only hit for, what was that, 500 or so? Uh, I can't remember now. 
and that was with five tiles on the board. So three tiles short of max, um, and it was pretty reasonable. So the mono boosting is the big part, and you can just see with this team, with that fast healing tank, the ailment blocking, the mono boosting, the all that AoE damage, that was very hard to overcome. And I'm not even sure what I would have done differently in terms of team composition. So dispelling could be helpful. Mana control could be helpful, but man, that it's just so fast. It's just over so fast. Um, cause even if the tank doesn't go off right away, so I guess the best thing to probably do is maybe if you're into it, go mono blue, just hope you can kill the tank with three tiles. Cause if you weaken her, even if she's, you know, say she was going to fire at a times three charge. If you weaken her, now she's going off at times two. That's a significant impediment um, for you turning the tides in your favor. But if you can kill her immediately and create a ghosting lane down the middle, you're still going to need a lot of luck because it's, it's just, there's so much danger on that team. It's crazy. And if you have a single, you know, if Odin goes off and you have a single element link on your team, then Finley's just going to rip you apart too. Um, especially if Frigg has already gone off first, so, God. Ugh. I think we're gonna see red tanks on the top teams in the future, because if you have Black Knight in that seat, or Garnet, or... Who else could work there? Uh, I don't know. Those are the two main ones, which those are, you know, very rare heroes, so... It's uh, quite tough to get those, but the top teams, top alliances, don't seem to have too much of a problem landing the best heroes. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. That is one of the most brutal teams I think I've ever faced. I didn't really have good boards still, so I was you know struggling just in terms of my own board, uh, let alone the team, but there's a lot of danger in there. Another possibility is to put an Alfreich in there on the, I don't know, on the wing, which you'd never want to do, but in hopes that Odin can speed her up to a reasonable level. The problem is then you're relying on Odin in that situation. So if he's killed early, then you've kind of wasted that spot. So I think, I think while there's more potential in using him to speed up slower heroes who have more impactful specials, there's also just something to be said for him making fast heroes even faster and just the kind of death grip that puts you in. You just have so little time to do anything. And typically, if you can decrease the amount of time that your um, attacker has to do something, then you are drastically moving the odds in your favor. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and all that. And I'll see you in the next video.